Hey, it's Arna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So this video was requested on my Instagram and she asked me how to focus on yourself. And this is something that so many of us kind of don't really know how to do or what that even means. I especially when I was younger I didn't have a clue what that meant or how to do that because it kind of like there's so much externally that we have to focus on and things that we have to get done and stuff. It can be difficult to focus just on yourself and it also can kind of feel selfish in a way but I've realized that it's just so important and so necessary and being selfish is goddamn important like we need to be because if you're not okay how are you supposed to help anybody else you have to save yourself first so something I learn in myself is when you struggle to focus on yourself or when you struggle to be still with yourself and like meditate for example oftentimes there's a disconnect so what is it that makes you not want to focus on yourself like who is it around you that is pulling at your attention and making you feel like you need to look at them and focus on them and help them where are you where's your energy being pulled like really look at what areas of your life you're feeling pulled in to know why you struggle to focus on yourself and who around you is telling you that you can't focus on yourself and that you need to be focusing on them I think that's like the first step because you need to be aware of what's happening and why and also if there's nobody else externally that's pulling you but you still struggle to focus on yourself maybe it's a disconnect within yourself where you maybe you're afraid to sit with yourself you know and there's nothing wrong with admitting that I've definitely felt that in the past like maybe you don't know how to sit with yourself because you've never been taught how to do that or nobody around you does that so it feels kind of weird or maybe like maybe you've been through some shit so the thought of sitting there and listening to those thoughts and visualizing past memories is absolutely terrifying and you don't want to do it like not even that you can't do it but that you literally just don't want to do it and I'm sure that there's so many people that feel that so becoming aware of that reason will help you for like it's the first step to be able to move through it and change it kind of thing so once you understand the reason why then it's a case of literally reparenting yourself and taking care of yourself one step at a time. Because, I mean, if you go from never focusing on yourself, you can't expect to suddenly be solely focused on yourself and solely pursuing your goals and feeling good and like, you just can't, it's such a jump. The chances of that happening instantly is pretty slim like it might happen for an hour it might happen for a day but then you're likely to fall back into old habits and plus our emotions fluctuate so you're likely to kind of go up and down a little bit and I think we have to embrace that like we have to surrender to the fact that it's not a uh, even though it can be simple, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen overnight. It's a process. It's a daily process of learning how to focus on yourself, learning how to do shadow work, learning how to hear your thoughts and observe your thoughts, learning how to feel your emotions and allow the awful negative emotions to fully take over your body and feel them. Like that's something that you have to learn and as with anything, like, if you're learning a new language, you have to practice it, don't you? Like, it's something that you have to keep trying and keep trying and maybe you'll do like an hour a day and you'll just keep learning it, you know? This is exactly the same, you're learning something new. So it's gonna take time and it takes practice, it takes consistency and there are gonna be days when you don't feel like doing it, you know? That's just life, that's just the way it is and that's part of being a human being in this simulation so it's okay if you don't know how to do something and it's okay if you do it one day and then the next day you don't feel like doing it and it's okay if you try and focus on yourself and you manage it for like five minutes 
and then like your child calls you or something or whatever happens a family member needs your help and then you have to go help them like it's okay and I think the number one thing we do is beat ourselves up especially when we're trying to put ourselves first we beat ourselves up we feel guilty we feel shame we feel all of these things so it's okay it's okay to feel it, it's okay to doubt yourself, it's okay to question what the hell you're doing, you know, it's completely fine, and you just take it one moment at a time, literally one moment at a time, pay attention to what you're thinking about, pay attention to what you're doing in your life, in your day-to-day -day life, and every moment you make the conscious decision to focus on yourself, so for me recently in my healing process, because I'm going through a breakup, what I've been doing is literally a moment at a time, I become aware of my thoughts whenever I start thinking about the past, or I start thinking about a memory, or I start thinking about potentials of what may have happened because I don't know kind of thing like you know how your mind likes to go to random scenarios that haven't actually happened and you don't know if if they've happened at some point during that story that comes up in my head I will notice that I'm thinking about it like it may be 10 minutes into those thoughts before I realise but at some point during those thoughts I will notice that I'm thinking about this thing and that I don't actually want to be thinking about it and once you become aware of the fact that you're doing it you then can start to change that story so for me if it if it starts thinking about something that's not actually happened I'll, I'll become aware of it even if it's like an hour later I'll become aware of it and be like hang on a second and you kind of take control of the narrative that's playing in your head and I'll be like wait a second that's not even real like why am I thinking about this literally talking to your own mind I did not choose this like I don't want to think about that because it's not something that's actually happened so let me move my focus to something else and I will literally tell those thoughts to fuck off <laughs> because they're not something that I choose consciously and then I'll rewrite that story so I'll be like that's not something that's happened so yeah that doesn't actually make sense now but this is what did happen and then I might move it to something that did happen and then I might analyze that a little bit and then eventually I will let it go or I'll change subject go to something else you know it just depends what kind of story comes up and sometimes it's things that have happened that you don't really want to think about or it's something that has happened that sparks an emotion and then depending on what it is that comes up you may decide that you need to be present in that emotion because you're still healing through it so you need to just stop what you're doing the thoughts come up then the emotion comes up stop what you're doing and just sit there and let that emotion come all the way up meaning that you might end up crying, you might end up getting angry, you might end up getting whatever, you just kind of let that come up. But then other times, maybe, um, like maybe you've got things to do and you haven't got time to sit there in that emotion for that moment, so then you need to re um, rewrite that narrative so that that emotion doesn't come up and you can deal with that emotion later kind of thing and I don't really recommend that but I do know that sometimes we're at work or we're in public or we're doing something and we don't want to sit there in that sadness and start crying in public so maybe you need to just switch that narrative for a minute and be like I'm gonna I'm a come back to you later when I have time like when I have the um peaceful environment where I can come back to it you know like you have to just do what works best for you and everyone's in different circumstances and things so it's gonna be different but at the end of the day we have so much control over our minds our bodies what we focus on where we push our energy the things that we do in our day-to-day -day lives like we have so much power over these things that oftentimes we're not even aware of the length of power that we have but we do have so much power so it's a daily practice of re-owning yourself re-owning who you are re-owning the thought patterns that you have and being able to choose different ones you know it takes a lot of work but it's so so possible and you are so capable of doing it you just have to do it moment by moment because when you break it down into each moment there's less pressure 
about like where you're gonna be in 10 years kind of thing. There's less pressure because it's just one moment at a time. What do you need in each moment? Where do you want to focus your energy in each, each moment? And, and a moment at a time, you can choose to focus on yourself, on who you are, on your goals, on your vision for your life. Like you literally shift your focus back to yourself. You know, but that doesn't mean that we don't, that doesn't mean that we avoid everything externally because we still have to exist and function here on earth, you know, so you still have to be able to focus on other things as well. But the number one priority should be yourself because you are who you are experiencing this life through. You came here to be you. So make sure that in each moment you are aware of what you're thinking about and what you're feeling and why. And then you're able to shift your focus to where you want it to be. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you. You can definitely comment down below or DM me or text or WhatsApp me if you have any questions or if you just want to chat to somebody or if you have video ideas, you can definitely reach out to me and I will film those videos for you. All links to my music, my social media, my phone number, Elemental Mirror, my Etsy store and so so much more is all in the description box below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload and yes I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you and I hope you have the best week. Bye. You could say I love you, I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself. I don't need you when I fuck you, need you when you touch me, I just want you to myself.